Let's do the old intro. He used to be out on the corner. He was dealing in drugs. Got himself a barber's chair and gave us some cuts. Now he's a podcaster. His life, he'll talk about it with us. Now it's Jeff. We're back. We're back. I have the zoomies, like a little chihuahua right now. Do you notice anything different? Um, no, Steven new... looks a little different. Yes, well, Steven, no, he kind of looks the same. You didn't notice the thing that Oscar made? He worked so hard on this. Are you talking about the lighting? Yeah. Installed some hue lights? Just do it again. <laughs> Run it again because she's ruining it. She's ruining it. I'm sorry. Let's, start like Let's just happen. start and then we can get to it a, a little bit in. I know we're all excited to do this episode. <laughs> it's the last episode of the year. All right. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Happy holidays! We were gonna do like a Santa thing. I can't. We both just just did. I'm just not feeling it. I wasn't feeling it at all. 100. I was gonna be like slutty Santa, out like whole whore bit, you know. Okay. Do you and have a, like just... a picture of you wearing that? Or no. Like wearing, with a pop it in. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> but I, there are many versions of me as whore Santa online. You know, every year I, I do something awful. Well, um, you're back. That's a big deal. I'm we back. We should acknowledge that. Yes, hello. I missed you all, Jeff FM audience. Um, a lot has happened since the last episode. Things I are saw uh, you posted a YouTube video today. I did. I what got happened? Age restriction. Oh, I got age restricted. That's why the views were low. I don't want to come right at you at the gate. <laughs> no, but. I was. I'm so pissed. But then again, it's also like a very raunchy video. I didn't watch it, but I I looked at the view count and I was like, damn, was why like the five. fuck? Why the fuck is there so little views? And there was a lot of comments. So I looked at the comments. Yeah. And somebody said. Oh, look at her posting old footage to make it look like she still is cool with Jeff or something like that. That was no way. Someone somebody said, said that. that. Yeah, it was, funny. It was <laughs> sitting on a list forever. Good job, bathroom boys. I um no, the vlog was amazing though. You were so funny in it. I had to cut so much because I feel like we're on scandal patrol right now. You and I. I'm are not on shit. I'm not on a scandal patrol. Well, you want to talk about religion? <laughs> <laughs> I said that just to set you up for that and you did it and it made me so fucking happy. We're a good team, you know, Yo. even if we stab each other in the back sometimes, we're a good comedy duo. <laughs> no, well, we're going to get into stabbing in the back and my night last night. Things happened, but uh, before all that nasty we're the number one. negative shit right now, let's cut to the bathroom, boys. Check your bank accounts. Oh, that happened like five days ago. Thank oh, you. Oh, did it already hit? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Did it actually? Yeah. Are you on your Mike Malak shit filming yourself doing it. good yeah. things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mike like, did it and it worked. Nobody yeah. hated on him. I thought he was going to get a ton of hate for that. I cried at that video. Weird. I know. You said it was... What, I won't say what you said about it, actually. <laughs> well, I said it to him. I was like, yo, that shit's fake as fuck, dog. Yeah. You're going around filming you giving people money. I cried. <laughs> Of How course you did. How it's embarrassing a, that I cried at a night shift. Did it hit? Like, come Christmas on. Bonus. Yeah, it hit. Thank you. Okay, Wait. it was a Hanukkah bonus, Damn. actually. Or uh, what's the Muslim one? Well, Eid. Eid. It's an Eid bonus. It's Can a I holiday bonus. From, from Look at you. you know, uh, I'm not getting into specific religions. <laughs> I have my best friend here who's Muslim. And I am Christian, and that's okay. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what he is. I yeah. don't give a fuck. What do you worship the devil? You? <laughs> Dad is not here anymore, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm Christian. Okay, cool. Yeah. Whatever. That's so sick, right? That's fine. We just like accept each other's religions. Can you believe we are now the number one podcast in the world? Yeah. <laughs> Happen like that. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Oh my God, he's that's. <laughs> Hey, you know what? You're funny. You came out the other night for my birthday. You thought of funny gift ideas and some nice gift ideas. You got me that Chrome Hearts hat. That's yeah, like, I wanted because you're always in a hat. Like a and thousand I dollar to, hat. I wanted to richify your hat game. You know. Yeah. You're always in some some snapbacks and shit. And I thought you deserved a nice one. And my other gift was a walker, and I didn't want to just be like a cunt. You know, like I wanted to be like, okay, I got you a hat too. No, it was super funny, and the boys loved it. They all said, "Yo, Tana's a real one. She's like oh. one of the guys." I love them. We had so yeah. we had literally had like a boys night we had so much fun together yeah fine. we were vibing it was it was great honestly we were just walking up here and he was like um kyle was like who do you like more cody or siobhan i was like <laughs> that's fine you could answer that's it. hard i did answer it i i would like them <laughs> equally i i love them both but uh i appreciate siobhan more for those who don't know uh tan is talking about my two hometown friends siobhan is well i know you guys both since i'm like 13 years old which is crazy 20 they, years now. They, yeah, yeah that's insane to say 20 years. I keep saying it just to like... <laughs> oh, damn. I thought you were exaggerating a little bit, but that's actually how much it is. Yeah. It's 20 that, years. When I walked in that day, you had mentioned I know him for 20 years. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy to be able to say that. Yeah, that you've known someone for 20 years. I think I've known my friends for a long time, and then I think about that. But it's cute. You guys, like, it's really cute the way they love you. It's it's adorable. I forget how young you are. 
I'm 24. Because you have like a 40 year old woman's soul. I thought you were going to say voice. A <laughs> 40 <laughs> year old woman's face. Yeah. No. <laughs> Do I have a 40 year old woman's soul? Yeah. Elaborate. I, I, you just have like a, like a mature woman comedian <laughs> personality, you know? It's giving like chain smoker. Like it's not that too. That <laughs> your, your voice does sound a little raspy. I guess like that's a life experience. I guess there. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. I'm not so, sure that it was. I just decided it was. I mean, it could be whatever. But Shaban is here. Good news. Also, he'll be leaving tonight. Oh my. That's I can't, wait. I can't believe. Yeah, I was gonna say you've been here. I for had a my minute. ticket till Thursday. I said, "Fuck that! I'm leaving tonight." Yeah. Oh my. That's how it goes usually. Like, cause. Y'all have been going crazy out here. Like, you got to get out of here eventually. He's just a nut. It's nice having my boys here, having my real friends here. Yeah. But (laughs) the bathroom boys are like, what are we, chopped liver? (laughs) We we work together so much and we film like fun vlogs and stuff. So it's like hanging out, kind of, I guess. Yeah. But no, (laughs) we want to get away from each other after, you know? Yeah, that's true. That is true. And Shaban's just a fucking nut job. Everything we do, I'm just like waiting to get arrested with him. Oh, my God. Somebody's going to be like, I did nothing wrong this canceled. I did nothing wrong this trip last night we were watching netflix just we had a, we had a look at that the cop the Little cops you see that that's yeah. our new thing that oscar made it's really oscar i'm really proud of you seriously Thanks. he's slaying with our the set for our our podcast i know the green screen is fucking bat shit like fucked up he sent me a screenshot of cody green screened into like a jail cell yeah, i was yeah. like there's no fucking way that's that's gonna be really yeah cool. oscar he uh he enjoys this stuff he's been learning and just executing and that's what I, I had a good talk with the boys i said what do you want to do with your time here what's your goals with your life yeah and we're gonna make some progress on that next year everybody's gonna work to their goals and we're all gonna we're all gonna make it what are their goals and well i i don't know if i want to air them out here it's like corny you he's know? like i actually <laughs> forgot <laughs> well no oscar wants to be more of a like uh, an official producer and make higher quality stuff yeah and kyle just wants to just smoke uh, weed and smoke more weed yeah <laughs> No, I don't know. Kyle's got his goals, too. Everybody's got their goals, and it's nice. I can't good, imagine good what it feels like to be him and us make that joke about him smoking more weed and him having to, like, lean up and press the sound effect button. <laughs> like, he's probably I'm like, yo, He likes the, you weed, guys. the weed jokes. He, he owns it. Yeah. He's uh, such a stoner. He's so stoic. Like, I, I was just making fun of him in the elevator. I was like, man, of many words, eh? Like, it's always just, like, one fucking word with him. Yeah. But they're funny. They hit sometimes. Low energy, kind of. Not that low stoner, energy, stoner but... Stoner vibe, you yeah. know? Like, yeah, I could be like, how are you? How was your day? I love you so much. I miss you so much. And he'd be like, yeah. And he'll just, yeah, he'll just chime <laughs> in and say some funny things, and, and that's it. That's yeah. all he needs to do. Yeah. But uh, back to Shaban. So we were watching Netflix last night. Cuddled up? Just chilling on the couch. I mean, yeah, whatever, whatever you want to think. <laughs> Big spoon, little spoon. We're watching this show, The Human Playground. It's about, like, all these crazy sports that happen all around the world. Yeah. And it's super cool. It's, like, a really good show. <laughs> it starts off in... Starts off... What? I'm just, I'm just imagining it. Like, the, the mental picture made me laugh. It's just like y'all a chill just like night. two bros cuddled up five feet apart because they're not gay. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> watching some shit about sports. Watching, uh, yeah. I mean, it's like crazy <laughs> sports that you don't know anything about. You know, we've never seen these things happen. There's these guys uh, in Africa, or it's like there's Nigeria, these guys, some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, it's it's like an indigenous in, indigenous tribe. It's an indigenous yeah, tribe. That's what it was. Yeah. So it's like all these guys, like African and they have these sticks and they're like naked and they fight with these sticks and he's just like look at that guy's dick look at this guy's dick oh that guy's got a little dick oh look at these fucking guys dicks they're, they're all but on netflix their cocks are just out <laughs> yeah on netflix. hanging out like straight up just dick and balls on but netflix. it's not like it's like cinematic shots <laughs> no but like the girls the girls also they, they, they tits are out the tits are out all of that yeah, yeah. did I, either of you like Get a little chub? No, yeah, I'm not sexualizing them. I'm watching the show. Of course, and Jeff it, did. He it made a comment cinematically. You know, like these these are tasteful shots. They're not Damn. like porn shots. But all he's just saying is, look at this guy's dick. Oh, that guy's got a huge dick. That guy's dick. That guy's dick soft is like my dick hard. And I'm like, bro, I'm just trying to watch this fucking show. Yeah. It's a good show. I was into it. I was appreciating my life more. Yeah. And it's just all about dicks, dicks, dicks. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. That's all you want to talk about. I and just it's not suck true. Some guy's dick. 
That's a that crazy Mike? sound bite. <laughs> wow. yeah. That's a crazy, crazy sound bite. Yeah. Clearly, Mike is yeah. the So, you guys were watching porn together last night? No, it was just the first part of the first episode. The rest was not really a lot of dicks and stuff like that. But it was a cool show. You should check it out. Watch it. You'll like it. Thank you. I'll get, I, you know, my passion for sports is very major. No, it's like sports you've never seen before some weird shit some people's weird hanging off sticks thing. jumping jumping into water some crazy stuff <laughs> hanging off sticks jumping into water <laughs> some crazy stuff I love yeah it. yeah um and then while you guys were doing that i went to a movie <laughs> premiere last night um and i was invited to it but oscar didn't tell me you but, wouldn't have, you wouldn't have gone right well that's why he didn't tell me yeah I, he's asked me millions of times in the past and i just say no i don't want to go to that shit that's crazy because i feel like you love a good clout farm you would think you'd want to do that no i don't love a good clout farm <laughs> you do and you br you bring me to i project it on you <laughs> but it's good i need somebody to push me to clout farm i don't even say in the fucking words you know? we almost got ready to come um, i walk into this event and i got pressed by a grown man yeah for Things I said on <laughs> huge cool, ups, huh? Oscar. That's huge. That's huge. <laughs> He's Seriously. been dying. <laughs> <laughs> Not the spotlight. Um, Is this making you uncomfortable to talk about it with the spotlight on? Or do you like it more? Slightly, but I like it. It's challenging me. You know what I mean? And yeah, honestly, I'm it. fucking pissed. I'm fucking pissed. The things that I said on your last podcast about certain people's actions, I was accosted for last night is that the right word what's that word mean is that the right word can we need a google search accosted what does accosted mean i'm like I the definition so. of that dumb bitch who says a word and is like doesn't know what it means yeah, i think so <laughs> albanian word? word approach and address approach and address nice okay um coming at my fucking neck like there's two sides to every story. You don't know what it oh, is. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's blah. the other side? I literally said, fuck the other side. Suck a dick and die. Like, what the actual fuck made me so, so, so mad. And the thing is, is the shit I said on your podcast, A, is true. And B, was a very vague statement. It could have been about a girl. It could have been about anyone. Like, this person took it upon themselves to feel attacked. Do you know what I mean? Oh, on the podcast, you said, um... <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I've been here before. <laughs> you said that uh, people miss me from the old crew. That's yeah, I said that certain people will say that they miss you and then not act like it. And I've never understood adults who can't, you know, move with adult behavior. If you miss someone, Was you care about them. Was that person one of the people? Yes. Oh, so so they did say that? And they did say that. 100%. They got mad that you, you aired it out? Yeah, but I never said their name. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, no one knew it was them. They just felt now like... Now, that's odd that you can't say that you miss a person. Something fishy's going on. Oh, fuck. 100%. And it was like, I'm sorry I had his back. Fuck your... There's no two sides to any story. Like, and I've been very nice about the way I support you. And, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, we, we talked about it on the last podcast. And I support you. And... It just, I don't even know. It was just really crazy. And other people were around and trying to like diffuse the situation could tell that this guy was like being so out of pocket to me. Like, oh, he's just joking. And he was like, I'm not joking, blah, blah, blah. Like, he was like, nice to see you, Tana. And I was like, was it fucking nice to see me? Like we were going back and forth so hard. And then I called you, <laughs> asked you to kindly not threaten this man until I left the party. <laughs> you threatened him approximately. I didn't, I didn't threaten anybody. You just said just like, kidding. You just um, said something that set me off. You were like, oh, yeah. there's two sides of the story. I was like, oh, yeah, there's another side. Let me hear it. You know, yeah. I, I would love to hear it. What a crazy, How about, uh, you outlandish know, thing to say. So it's like, there's probably a lot of shit talk going on on, on you know, another side, but we just do it publicly because we keep it real, you know? Yeah. That's it. That's real. People might look at it like, oh, they shit talk. No, we just don't have anything to hide, so we'll talk about it openly. 100%. And then all night for the rest of this party, people who wouldn't normally be up my butthole sucking the fart out of my ass trying to, sorry, whoa, <laughs> trying, whoa, whoa, trying, to, whoa. trying to hang out with me all night. Let's take a shot. Oh my God, Tana, I love you. I miss you so much. We're just following me around up my ass. And I know it's because like you, like you were calling me and I was calling, like looking at, over my shoulder. Like I could just sense it that I was being like narked. Yeah. And I was just like, there's no way. Yeah, you got Jeff that, fired up last night. That people. Well, you fucking handled it well. You just told that story very well. I'm, I'm proud of you. Thank You're really doing. And that word you threw in there. <laughs> <laughs> She's killing it, right? Um, no, but I just. 
It's just crazy for a grown ass man at their prehistoric age to fucking come up to a little tiny, innocent, kind, sweet girl who's never done anything wrong in her life yeah. except support and love her friend. Like it mm-hmm. was just, I'm just in disbelief. And I, I know it's bad because here's the thing, like always in the moment I'm gonna call you and be like, Jeff, what, you know what the fuck just happened, blah, blah, blah. Like I'm always gonna tell yeah. you right then and there. But I know it's bad when I wake up and open my eyes and my first thought is like, that actually fucking happened to me last mm-hmm. night. Yeah. Like I woke up today and I was like, I need to call Jeff. Like I just, I, I'm in, I'm still in disbelief. I can't even believe it. And then he texted you too, trying to be like, no, I was just trying to get her in a Snapchat. Like he was saying that it was just a joke he was trying to do for a Snapchat. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Tana. The thing that you know, like, I believe you a hundred percent. But you were a little drunk on the phone. Yeah. And like, either way, if you're like in a situation where you're being like, like a a guy is scaring you, like, of course, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Tell me right now, like what's going on. But, you know, also you're like, I'm fucking blacking out. I got to (laughs) go. And you're like, I can't talk about it. Because I was pissed. I was like, I need to know. You can't just tell me shit like that. I need to know what happened. No, no, no. I told you everything that happened. But then, then, so then basically also. I don't mean to discredit you, by the way. Sorry for saying that. We could, we could edit that out. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> leave it in leave it in. i love you no i understand because i'm dramatic like i'm dramatic as fucking if i'm drunk too and something fires me up i'm gonna be dramatic about it yeah. that's what i'm saying that's how i knew today when i woke up it wasn't like a tana dramatic drunk i'm calling jeff moment uh-huh. it was like a, oh that like really fucking happened you know yeah and then i go to my team who's there and because you were gonna come y'all were gonna pull up which is so funny too it's a black tie event i'm on the phone with you i'm like put on a suit put on a suit and you're like gonna come and i go to my team and you were invited to this event you received the invite do you know what i mean yeah and i was like can i please get two people and they were like yeah of course whoever you want like who are the people and i was like jeff wittick plus one and they were like yes oh my god like we love jeff we'd love him here and my team goes to the team (coughs) hosting this event which is a major movie production Mm -hmm. team and they were like yeah he's been asked to be blacklisted tonight like someone went i promise you i and I, I ended up later speaking to the person who said that like the head of it and she was like yeah just no jeff yeah no no jeff and i'm like R- like and really? that's the first person that you talked to that said i want him here or they would love jeff or whatever no my team was saying that like and that, uh. like that they would love you there and obviously the people at the movie production play like they have no problem with you they yeah. invited you they wa- they would want you there it was just like a, a request was put in to what have the you black who are these people that they got an invite to the place that's what i'm saying imagine being inv- invited and then now you're mysteriously blacklisted yeah because they ran back they ran back and probably told them that you text that person I'm blacklisted from what from that event last night they were like yeah you can bring anyone you fucking want for so, what so you originally <laughs> for what you Get fucking in and that would great like that's insane to me because obviously they probably knew i was going and that like i bring you to a lot of shit i guess maybe or like i i don't know no what probably happened like, is that person ran back and told somebody and that somebody told them that jeff text them yeah like the people they, narking they said me. that jeff's probably gonna pull up and then they said don't let him in what am i a fucking terrorist like, is that not insane to you? Yeah, I'm getting fired up. Uh, let's talk about something more the weather. Uh, lighthearted. Should we do the weather? Let's do the weather. Yeah. Because I'm just going to get fucking pissed off here, you yeah. know? No, I was, so, I was like, fairly angry. That's I, why I told you. I was like, I'm blacking out. I literally was like, give me a fucking He was punching shot. Bob upstairs for two hours yesterday. I call him. He calls me. I'm going to my <laughs> I hotel. I do that every night. Nothing's different about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's I literally funny. do that every night. I spend at least two, three hours a night hitting Bob I swear to God no not two three hours but uh, probably a good 30 minutes a day I beat up on that guy Bob a Do lot of people to... have those in their houses or in their backyards and they just collect dust they don't they hit it for like the first few days they buy it mm. and they just leave Bob around they hang clothes on him but I use my Bob <laughs> I beat up on him I watch YouTube videos and new techniques I'll watch Steven Wonderboy Thompson he's an MMA fighter and I'll uh, he teaches kicks so I know spin and heel kicks I know Joe Rogan kicks I know all types do you want to unpack that though maybe like the emotion maybe behind that <laughs> or no the kicks or the situation with these people no with Bob like why like are you I mean you, I, I know I should have a bigger reaction to that whole situation no. but I'm not surprised you <laughs> no know, you're missing you're missing what other. I'm saying like like you're hitting Bob every night for two hours like do, do you want a sex doll like do you, uh, you no, want to you want to read a no, book like, no what are you talking about I'm like, an that's artist angry. Right? It's mixed martial arts. Um, <laughs> I'm expressing my art form. I'm actually really sorry for um, 
you know what I mean? Playing that down your right. No, no, no. He saw him. He was impressed because we did a lot of Staten Island side raps back in the day. <laughs> What's and a Staten Island that, side rap? Please, please. It's like when he's talking to somebody fighting and he's like, yo, I don't want no problems, bro. And I come up from the side. <laughs> Bang! But that was when we were young. Damn. We don't do that anymore. Now I'm trained. I showed you some of those spinning elbows, some spinning back fists, some uh, spinning back kicks. He's like, I have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, never. Albania. No, but Jeff got good. He's good. He's... I'll fuck thing. you up if no, it came won't. down you to it. You won't. Do you think you beat every person in the world? Everybody in, in the fight? world. Are they That's flirting? That's the attitude. That's the attitude. Are huh? you guys flirting right now? No, it's just crazy that people <laughs> from Staten Island think in their head yeah. and that they can beat anyone in a fight. Yeah, for sure. You know, with Tell no them training, he smokes a, a, a vape all day long. But that confidence, you know, you gotta have it. Nobody else is gonna believe in you as much as you got. You could believe in. I don't know. I'm making something up as I go. <laughs> just words. Just autocorrect. Just yeah. <laughs> I was, I, I'm that hanging was really, out with Cody too much, just spitting out memes that I see, just motivational memes. I love Cody. Cody, the other day uh, for Jeff's birthday, called <laughs> the paparazzi. Can I say this? To he, come. Well, he got it from you. <laughs> yeah. He, got the, he met the guy. I was going to leave that you. part out. <laughs> <laughs> but just like I was sitting there and I had such an existential out of body moment where I was like, this man was in prison. Mm -hmm. Like, and now, like, we have him DMing the paparazzi. Like, come to Medeo on Sunset Boulevard at 8 p.m. to yeah. shoot. Like, yeah, it's what? crazy how much he changed. He's like a complete, complete different person. It's much better this way. You yeah, yeah. were fucking with me so hard the other night. Cody would not stop flirting with me. And every two seconds, I'm catching him going up to Cody, like, man, she just told you she wants you, bro. Yeah, she just told she me just, she's feeling she's you, just, bro. She just told you she wants your dick That's so what fucking he bad. Does. He's <laughs> just, like, he's just a, a constant. Prankster, instigator, <laughs> antagonist. He yeah. really gets off on it. It's just what he does without even cameras around. Just yeah. enjoys fucking with people. I know, and I, I love it. I really do. But I was like, I swear to God, if you say that one more time, like, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, he I'm was like, getting I'm fired like, up, too. I'm like, He's like, really? At... He's like, really? I'm like, yeah, yo, she just told me she's feeling you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Jeff, Jeff was fired up last night. He was hitting that thing for three hours. Yeah. Oh, my but God. I know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm like... sorry for even honestly calling you and telling you. I just, like, was actually freaked out. Like, I was like, it, like... I wasn't, like... It looked like losing it over that. I actually been in a really good place lately. Ever since like my triathlon. Ever since my deodorant launched. <laughs> deodorant is great. We went and we went to the factory today to the lab. Yeah, and I we saw picked that. them all up and we got to drop them off. I took a we did this we did this cool thing, Oscar and I came up with it today. We got a micro S D card and we filmed the video with instructions for a giveaway and we put it in one of the deodorants, kinda of like a Willy Wonka golden ticket thing. Yeah. So it'll be randomly shipped out. Whoever gets that opens it up and they find the micro SD card in it, they put it in and they'll find out their winnings. I can't explain what you exactly win, but it's sort of like a Willy Wonka oh, thing that's where you come lit. get a tour of our studio, you get uh, you, you can explain a haircut. The, the trip to LA. We, yeah, you, so you get a luxury trip to LA, a nice hotel room, and you get a view. Uh, you get to view all of our stuff. Meet you. You're involved. Oh, you, you know, and we can go and skydiving. And all I'm gonna get out of that is a goddamn deodorant. <laughs> but, yeah, which is no great, huge. Which it is smells great. amazing. It works. You know and what I mean? It is. I ended world hunger after I put it on. You know, like I, I saved a baby from a tree. Like it's. Well, you know, I know people. I'm I saw a couple comments. People were a little. They were complaining about the price. Look, it's high end, expensive ingredients. It's all natural stuff. You want Look, the Cheap shit, go buy the cheap shit, get cancer. You know, I'm making yeah. this shit in the U.S. It's, Talk your shit. Yeah, it's, Talk it's shit. high end ingredients. Shit I didn't is rich do the cheap people route. deodorant. Go get degree. I mean, if you and care, get cancer. If you care about your life and your body, then and then you know, yeah, chip yeah. in the extra few bucks. Yeah, if you love yourself, it's like fucking like buy, like you know what I mean. And Just you get like, a chance to come out here, hang out with the posse. We go skydiving together. We go on a hike. We could go. <laughs> they could sit in on the podcast. They, they could sit in on the podcast. They sit in on the podcast. <laughs> we could watch Netflix together and talk about their dicks. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, honestly, there's so many options. Okay. You did it. You did it. <laughs> you have proof? <laughs> I'll get proof because you'll do it again if I no, put it back on. I never did that. You can't help it. You never. can't help it. You can't help. I wish that light was programmed to go on your side. It's not yet. Oh, we'll get it there. <laughs> yeah, Oscar's like, damn it, I thought I got Tuesday off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I will not, at your dinner the other night when I gave you the walker, Kyle just looked at me and Paige, like, I swear to God, like, not an ounce of happiness behind this poor kid's eyes. And he just, <laughs> I know what and he just says, he just says, I'm going to have to build that in 20 minutes. <laughs> and then 20 minutes go by, and he's in the corner of a five-star restaurant, like, lefty loosey righty tidying this fucking walker, and he just looks at me like... He built it wrong. If eyes could say yeah, help. Yeah, he built it wrong. The <laughs> white man fucked wrong. it up, and then Oscar had to come in, 
and right. fix it. And I couldn't fix it either. Well, it was, it was broken. broken. How'd you get it broken? to work? Huh? How'd you get it to work? I just fucking ripped it open and bent the metal. Did you just say Ripped a highly straight. racially motivated sentence yeah, to all of your that. employees? Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Number two podcast in the world now, baby. No, it's okay because I'm, I'm, I'm white. I thought I was not white because I'm Italian my whole life, but then... <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. What's so funny about that? <laughs> you can't say that, Jeff. Why can't I say that? I thought that I was ethnic because... Do you think that saying ethnic makes the... Like, they just, <laughs> makes I you... thought that I was part of the minority. I don't align with just uh, Pecker My. Woods. You know, when I got locked up and they made me pick a race to stay with, <laughs> I didn't. Level? I didn't know. I was like... Wait, what do I want to do here? You know? Am I? <laughs> That's how it is. It's so fucking backwards. Oh, the weatherman's here. <laughs> Thank God. Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, please save us. Hey, all right. Is it live? What's up, minority? <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, let's oh move on past God. that. It's good to me? see you. Uh, thank you for ruining our one of our co-hosts' life here because I told you... Don't make a big deal about it. The comments on the last one. And I think our audience here. I know. Kinda, they kinda, I, 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 relax. I didn't let even me prepare talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. I, I let me talk. read the comments. Relax. Relax. I fucking... Relax. I'm let, me, awesome. let me explain that. So last week we had him on. We yeah. got, gave him a little more time than his normal weather segment. That's two, three minutes long. You're so he blessed came, and he lucky. He came sat in. Yeah. You know, it's wow. something that he's taking a little something more serious. Something that a micro SD card could get you. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I think our audience kind of they kind of like our, our sense of humor rubs off on them so the way we we dig on each other we roast each other they think that you know oh i want to be like that so i'm going to say that shit to them too so a lot of Which people just bro called me in to watch relax bro relax you got something to do you got another way weather segment no, to do on I, another I, show i prepare a bit because if you read the comments I'm the shit right now. So See what I'm I saying? Need, I don't need to prepare for anything anymore. This is almost going to be my show. It sounds yeah. just like Steven. Read, there's like, there's like, there's like comments Steven. on the last podcast saying, it's a, put me in the podcast, yeah. put me in the co-host position. This is what happens. It's the same shit every time. That chair is powerful. So he sat in and I think... <laughs> that was like one of his one-liners that hit. I don't think I don't think he was that much better than Steven. You know, he, he definitely tried a little hard on this one. Mm. You know? It's not a competition. So the comments were coming in. I won. The comments were coming in, and they were mad. At, at, they were saying, "Oh, Ryan, L, Steven, all this shit, all this stupid shit that, that kids write nowadays." W Riz. And he gets off on this shit, even though it's his friend, and it's yeah. causing fucking serious trauma to him. He Not gets off anymore. On it. <laughs> hey, that guy. So I'm like, "Yo, like, fucking, don't make a big deal about this." He texts Steven, says, "Yo, oh. comments are harsh on the new podcast. Just want to say I don't, I didn't mean anything by it, and don't go look at them." What is that gonna make him do? Go you know? look at them. Obviously. He goes and reads every That's single one. That's not what I said. Okay, hold on, hold on. You might as well have just said, Jeff "Fuck you, I'm up." to do this. Jeff called me first and was like, "Talk to Steven. He's quitting. You made him uh, want to fucking die. He hates you." And I, then I texted Steven and I said, "Hey man, the comments are kind of harsh. I don't mean anything by it." And then Steven said, "I don't read comments." He can't read. <laughs> no, no, no. no, he can. Sorry, I'm, why am I kicking him while he's down? I, I love Steven. You I can't bully him while he's gone, Tanner. That's yeah. rude. That is rude. I'm sorry. I got Steven's uh, mug here in, uh, in honor of him. <laughs> why is that so cute? Out of his mug today. We got him this in our Yosemite trip, yeah. and he didn't even take it home. So wow. he didn't give a fuck about it. And he's actually we, just got, own, we replaced him already. Yeah. He's actually yeah. showing his own podcast yeah. right now, right? That he invited me to. He invited you on his new podcast? Yeah, what's it called? Hold on. It's called Man Tits. And he's uh, poaching my friends, to be on it now? <laughs> Come film at the pod. That's what he said to me. He sent Come me a picture. Come film at the pod? Yeah. Bullshit. No way. I wonder how long till he asked me. I give it two weeks. Oh, he said filming pod. You fucking instigator. You trying to make me beat for him? <laughs> I'm proud of him doing his own endeavors and stuff like that. You know, I like yeah. all you boys equally. I don't have any I know, favorites. I, wanna mo I don't want to do that at all. I want to mooch as, as as much as I can. Honestly, that's the mindset. <laughs> I Same here. I do not want to go do my own thing at all. Same yeah. here. It's I perfect. resonate with that. All right. Hi, Ryan. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask him questions. Tanner like that. called me on your when, when when Kyle called me on your birthday. Tanner was like, "Wait, was it Tanner or Kyle?" I think it was Tanner. Tanner was like, "All the real ones are here." 
I didn't take a picture with David Dobrik. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm a real one. <laughs> Kyle, soundbite that. <laughs> You're fake. I, he was so into how that. Him, <laughs> how are you going to call me not a real one? Okay, honestly, we just really wanted you there. You're playing both sides. I was, I was You're playing both sides. I was taking a different approach. Paige was really sad that you weren't there. She thinks you guys are dating, you know, and it was... We're not. <laughs> Damn, I'm dating Ryan. the money. You fucking, you're good at this shit. I, you know what? I do want to have you around more. That was good. Yeah, at he, least he, he ate my ass up just now. Yeah, he and got, you waited for that too. Cause I, wish in, I, I wish it was real. Because in the moment on FaceTime, like he was like, oh, I wish I could be there. And you know, in that second, he's been waiting. Like just to, to eat my ass up. And you slayed. You were right. I am. I don't like the quote. I don't like eat my ass up. <laughs> <laughs> See, he is a good sidekick. Yeah. Show us a tattoo right. you got, Ryan. I'll get pink eye if I eat your ass up. All right. Show us, show us that new <laughs> chat. Look at that. It's for my mom. Boys, yeah. Aw, it's actually a good one. It's a slayer. Yeah, I know. It's for my mom. Paige is going to love that. I can <sighs> feel it. I'm taken by the game. Okay, what do you got for us today? Bro, I told you I didn't prepare anything. <laughs> I'm up right now. I don't need to. Everyone <laughs> likes me now. I'm the shit. I don't need to prepare. Fuck the I'm weather. eating corn nuts. That's the bit. I'm eating corn nuts for the bit. This is the beginning of the end. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it all happens. Every Damn. time. I've seen it a million times. Have you seen the weather today, you know, like at all? Like, do you have any... Fuck right. the weather. <laughs> I've been saying fuck the weather. Is it snowing over there in Utah? It is. I I'm got, taking I my knees skiing. I'm, 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 I'm taking done. my knees skiing tomorrow. I think for New Year's, <laughs> we're going to do a, a snow trip. Like get a little skiing in because later in January, I got to get my eyeball sliced open again. So uh, in January? I won't be able to ski. with, Or I can't. Wait, It'll just be a little. A little wait, why do you have to get your eye? What, what happened? <laughs> I fucking, I, I could sense his sarcasm. I don't like it. Fucking wrap it up. We got the weather. Hey, behind your mouth. Behind your mouth. He just gloated the whole time. All right, Ryan. Yep. <laughs> hey, hey, comment, comment. Uh, er. <laughs> hey, 2023 is not going to be your year. <laughs> this was the best it'll ever get for you, and it's 100%. all downhill. Do you know what Riz means? Yeah, of course. What does it mean? It's like game. I was so excited hoping you didn't know what it meant. That's what you, you thought I didn't know? <laughs> I'm up on this shit now. Yeah. I was out of the game for a little bit, but I'm back in it. I'm going to start teaching you shit. W Riz. Jeff. W Riz. I got Riz. <laughs> I got W Riz. Just don't, uh, you wouldn't know. I never used it on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting violated today. <laughs> what is Riz? Like swag? Like charisma. <laughs> nice. Like what? Charisma. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, like game. Okay, before we continue, a quick word from today's sponsors. Today's episode is sponsored by Rocket Money. Have you guys ever signed up to a bunch of subscriptions and then you forget about them and then your credit card is just paying this bill every month and you haven't even checked into that subscription to watch whatever's on it and you're just wasting money? That's why I love using Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. The app shows all your subscriptions in one place and then cancels for you whatever you don't still want. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you didn't know you were paying for. You may even find out you've been double charged for a subscription. To cancel a subscription, all you have to do is press cancel and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash jefffm. Seriously, it could save you hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash jefffm. Cancel your unnecessary subscriptions right now at rocketmoney.com slash jefffm. All right, now back on with the show. You want to hear something funny about us? You can make fun of us for it. When Shaban and I were in high school, it was a part of a big Albanian gang, but we were young. And can I say the name of the, yeah, what the older okay. kids? Yeah, okay. K-Mob. You were trying to get me to yell that out of me. Yeah, <laughs> K-Mob. Yes. And we joke around about K-Mob when Sh whenever Shaban's like running late or something like yo K Mob's coming right now you better <laughs> fucking hurry up but it's just it's like a stupid thing mm. but we were like the younger what what is this song this don't go with K Mob what is K Mob K Mob is a gang and it's it's no longer <laughs> active right that still is it's like a family it's not a gang it's still active of course, <laughs> of course. Oh, we're gonna get in trouble for this it's not a gang it's a family friends close friends so we were too young to be in it <laughs> but we wanted to start our own so we started our own version called Yup, Y-U-P. Yup. Yeah, guess what it stands for? <laughs> what does it stand for? Young, untouchable. Pussy. 
<laughs> That's what I was doing. The opposite of that. What is it? Penises. <laughs> I can't even say because I'm embarrassed by it. <laughs> no, you you want to wanna say talk it. about Riz? <laughs> Young, untouchable players. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, kids are so dumb. I was thinking you were going to say pimps. We thought that that was the coolest <laughs> shit. It yeah. would have made more sense to be pimps. Yeah. But Tasso, our Greek friend, was like, yo, it's going to be like. You know, young, because we're fucking younger than them. We're untouchable because nobody could fuck with us. <laughs> and then players, because we, we get bitches, you know? <laughs> and no, I don't like using bitch. I mean, referencing what somebody else said to me. Oh, I don't like using yeah. the B word ever. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we thought was cool. I love that for you guys. I love your little... Your 17, little, 18. Wow. You okay. remember that? You, you and Tosters yeah. go to raves and dance. Wow. With the glow sticks. Oh. With the glow sticks. You remember Oscar, that? You hear that? Bro, Tosso We used to go to raves. And yeah, fucking yeah, close yeah, 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 this shit, yeah. Off is, Molly, off ecstasy. Hell yeah. Have you ever seen his hair years ago? The fucking spikes. It's used to take I him had three the hours. Poly D spikes. Oh, I do remember that. I just I saw a photo of that recently. I was like, no well, way. Well, I gave Polly D his spikes. Did I would, you? I cut his hair. Yeah, of course. Did you really? I'm a fucking legend in this game. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing this a long time, Tana. Pop you know? off, King. Thank you. Talk your shit. Thank you, King Eight. Uh, no, I had enough of bragging over here. But yeah, that's it for me. I'm doing good. I'm feeling great. Everything's great. You know. My life's good. Should we do a religion segment? I, I feel like that's I, what the people want right now. 100%. You want to go first? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is bad. You want to talk this to scandal. Shabon? What do you think George Let's Janko's about- going to do? Or like, what do you think their next podcast is going to be? You think Logan's going to fold and apologize? I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. Um, now, if I were in that situation. Yeah, what would you do? I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't have that conversation on the podcast. Ever. Or have it. You Ever. Know? I don't really give a fuck about what other people do, mm. you know? But sometimes with my friends, I could see myself, like, lecturing because I do that with Steven. Actually, you know what? No, now that I put myself in his shoes, I do talk to Steven and I'll give him advice from my life experience. And I, if he's not listening and I see him, like, not paying attention and, and going off to whatever, <laughs> I get mad because I had to go through so much shit to learn all these life lessons. Yeah. And I'm just gifting them away. I'm just giving them away for nothing. Yeah. So you could get my experience just from hanging out with me. And I, the other day I told him just simple shit. He was like, I'm not feeling good. And I was like, you know what? Maybe that's because, you know, you're waking up at 1 p.m. and you're ordering DoorDash and jerking off. And I was sounding like Andrew Tate, you know? <laughs> and I was like, you got to get out of bed. You got to fucking, you know, not yeah. be lazy. Wake up earlier. Go to bed earlier. Yeah. Just shit like that. And then he, I heard him talking to Shabani. He's like, Yo, Jeff told me to become a fucking Navy SEAL. Like, he thinks I'm a, like, I'm a fucking Navy SEAL. So, you know, maybe I am out of, that out of touch if I do talk to people about stuff. Yeah, but you, you weren't know? doing nothing. You were just pushing them to be better. But yeah, he, that's not... he, he doesn't understand that. Yeah. He's a little young. He don't understand that. Yeah. Like, his friend was at yeah. the gym yesterday, and he was just outside watching him work out. He's like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's more of a fucking know-it-all than George. You know, at least yeah. George was like, you know, this is what I do. George handled that really well, This though. is what works for me. Yeah, I don't know. I, I know George didn't handle the Bobby Lee stuff. Well. Uh, the one he walked off of? Yeah, yeah. That was like, I, I, I don't like that, how that went. Mm-hmm. But also, like, you know, I don't know. It's not my business. I don't fucking know. And I don't mean to get yeah. biblical. On that, like, <laughs> so back to Steven. No, I'm just kidding. I can't. I'm not. I don't want to talk about him when he's not here. Uh, but my TikTok, <laughs> my TikTok account, I'll like start uh. sending things to Steven now because my TikTok is all like, people with one eye or like burn victims and stuff no. like that because i like them you know because yeah. i'm like i could relate to this <laughs> not I'll the burn people because there's people that are really fucking messed up out there and yeah so i'm just i'm just gonna send the, them all to everybody in the group chat just give people fucking depressing ass messages all day long <laughs> thank god i can't wait just honestly. restrict them like you did with my gambling things on the on my phone <laughs> oh yeah yeah he, he, i went on his explore page and it was just all slot machines and like gambling things. no he, loved, he, he watches them that's you know? incredible so i went on there and i was like not interested promoting gambling like just getting all off his thing so hopefully that helps him not gamble anymore when you gamble what do you gamble blackjack blackjack i just lost so much fucking money in vegas i was so i can't like Stop while I'm up. How much did you lose? Probably like six grand. Damn. Yeah, and I and I made it all back that's twice. One for you. Like, yeah, that's crazy. That's I, I can't move like that. It's fucked Toyota up. Corolla. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, yeah. Seen him, I've seen him gamble a used car. He's a no nut job. No way. Yeah. You... And he'll fight the dealer or something like that. He was so fighting mad. for me one time. I called him bad words. That's it's not their fault, you know. <laughs> yeah. And they're not. But cheaper. he's the worst. I'll be down 
thousands of dollars and be like, you know what? You can't quit now. Yeah, well, it's one more <laughs> hand. Yeah, yeah no, I know, because be. that's, you know, 99% of gamblers quit right before they hit it big. That's a meme. <laughs> yeah, that's what he tells, me. He tells me that every single day. We're not even gambling. That, what was it, yesterday? We're like, let's go to Vegas. And we looked at each other and said, what, what, what are we going to do? Go gamble, come back miserable? It didn't happen. Or come back so happy. Well, do you said, gamble? I, I used to, but I stopped. Yeah, all right. Really? You, yeah. you stopped the same time as me, right? Yeah, yeah, I stopped. You're so healthy. Like, I just want you to have, like, one vice. I, oh, I got fucking vices. We'll get into them in a little bit. But he, uh, <laughs> so he justified gambling drunk the other day. Yeah. Because he was talking about, like, drinking and gambling. And he's like, but sometimes when you're drunk, you fucking you do good you know because you got balls and stuff yeah so i'm like are you telling me right now that it's smart to get shit faced and gamble <laughs> <laughs> it's just like such a that was me last weekend though i was like no nah, i just like, and I, just, like and I, I get what he's saying like you have more balls to be like fuck it and then you're yeah. so big you, you know? probably win a little bigger drunk when you do win because you are ballsier but it is it's bad though too because it's like you do some dumb shit. We went. To, we went shit. to Vegas. He don't even drink. He's on his phone gambling. No. You yeah, remember that? Yeah, like yeah, you're yeah, in a yeah. casino. Like, no. Yeah, like like yeah. he we, call, we we were tapped out. We lost all our money and he couldn't pull out money and he just downloaded an app and he yeah. was just no. playing <laughs> two thousand dollar hands. Yeah. I have to be like dragged out by my hair. It's it's actually just, it's so fucking bad. And then you like make friends too. That's the worst. When you make friends with the dealer, you like make no. friends with the people around. No, I don't want to speak to nobody. He never, really? He no. Never made friends with I hate them. everybody. Oh, was, I'm bad. There was this one time that that Jeff and I were in a taxi in Vegas, and he was it was like around the time that we met, and he told the uh, the taxi driver like, oh yeah, I just like lost my house. I'm gonna go over here and like kill myself and. So the app that I gamble on, there's like a couple apps. One of them's fake. So mm. it's like fake money. Yeah. It's just like an app that you have to watch ads, but you play with fake money. Yeah. And I was, I got up to like $2 million or something, and I lost it all in that Uber ride. Yeah. And I told the Uber driver that it was real money because I was just fucking around. No. And I was like, fuck. I He's going to 5150 your ass. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, that's bad. You Oscar know- was dying. That's when we first started <laughs> hanging out, kind of. The suicide rate is the highest in the U.S. in Las Vegas because people lose all their money and kill themselves. Yeah. Oh, you grew up in Vegas, so you've been gambling your whole life. For sure. Yeah. For sure. And, and nobody- normally I'm good, but th- I was just such a stupid fucking whore this past trip. It was bad. Nobody talks about all the suicides there, right? Well, they the casinos pay like a crazy amount of money to the news stations to not... Uh, publicize that's it crazy. Be, so that people still want to stay there do you know what I mean yeah. and that's why a lot of people believe like so, so many Vegas hotels are haunted as fuck too cause like shit if you believe in that obviously but shit like that like we would never hear about it on the news growing up you'd just like come into school and I was like ah Jennifer's mom jumped out yeah. the Mandalay Bay <laughs> like Damn, you, you, well, you find there, out wasn't like, there a guy that just jumped off the stratosphere like Oh, that was like last six year. months ago? Or Probably, like yeah. Year? With no, because uh, I jumped off. Yeah, it was right after we went. Yeah, actually, it was right after we went. Like, it was like maybe like a week or two after we went. I you would have that done that. That's why they locked It's scary. It. I would never do that. That's People what, have died from that. Actually? I think, or that might be a rumor. I don't know. That's why they probably closed all the windows. You remember years ago when we used to go to Taj Mahal, all the windows, balconies used to be open? Yeah, and they got those railings. Like, that's going to yeah. help. You like, know? Yeah. like, it's just an extra yeah. foot railing, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a safety railing. Yeah, like, it's not. I'll climb it's right not over that help. shit if I really wanted to end it. <laughs> you tell him, Jeff. No, that's why most Vegas hotels don't have balconies. Yeah. And then a couple do, like older ones. But no, yeah. no, the windows don't open at all either. They have yeah. that little thing with the stopper on it now. Yeah. How often do you think it happens? One a day? No. No more. I think yeah. more for yeah. sure more and like I had friends growing up too where their their parents were like maids in hotels and shit and then it's like common as fuck to just be like cleaning up like blood like fucking like you know what I mean or like in the de- rooms yeah crazy nobody even knows about it at so. all it's so fucked yeah that was me this weekend honestly I was debating it no don't no, say that no I'm just no. kidding but I was I Six was down grand? how much you making on it's probably like one. It's probably no, a it, it, but it's a principle. Like I was so up. It's just a principle. That's like the, that's that feeling. Happens, yeah. That that's, feeling of say like it. it's fucking big money. Like of just being like how much I'm a can a guy idiot. make on? Like say like a a, a micro influ- influencer. <laughs> a micro influencer. Yeah. Like what, micro is in what like 10k on Instagram. 100k. Damn, we're shitting on these people. <laughs> no, I mean that's that's a I'm micro influencer. Right? Um, I think it depends on the looks. I guess. The average for that would probably be like 10k a month. Really? Yeah. 
maybe yeah. like you think that's gonna more, burn out because if everybody does it there's like nothing to it but at the end of the day people want to fuck the people they want to fuck even if everyone's doing you know like some people that's true. you know what i mean like a million people could have but if certain people wanted to fuck you specifically like yeah yeah you you know what i mean they're gonna buy your shit for sure and it's it's also just for me i always am buying people's out of curiosity like what the fuck is on there what the yeah. fuck are they doing what are they posting like is charlie jordan's butthole out or not like i need i need to know charlie she does it yeah she's on the oh, that's good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> are we even able to talk um, about this because every time we bring it up it's just bleep bleep the word shifted. yeah let's just censor every time we say it because <coughs> um, every podcast town has been on <laughs> <laughs> apparently i'm just a walking to hell. i'm a walking strike right now it's actually so fucking bad no it's all um, good let's talk about something would positive you ever, and uplifting for the youth as i was about to ask him if he'd ever started no. i was just gonna say that no. he just cut me off a no. bunch of guys in your uh, how do i say this i guess your enemies <laughs> no i wouldn't I even call him that, that. Um, Actually, yeah, yeah no, fuck that. Yeah. How do you know who she's <laughs> yeah. talking about? Huh? How do you know she, who she's talking about? She was you were telling me the yeah, other I night, but I was all stressed out. I was just I being like, instigator. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> also, I, was <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's about to be the wave next year for like every straight guy on the internet who may or may not be going broke or who could make a lot of money to start. A but doesn't it fuck up? a lot of other things in, in your life. Like, I just saw a girl in the WWE, she got fired because she was posting exclusive content. No, wait, that's fucked. That's so fucked. That's crazy. But, um, but what if, like, she's in contract to be, like, uh, if you want to see her, you got to go to the WWE and they pay her a ton of money. That's fair, then. If it's, like, a, you so know So they what I want, mean? like, her exclusively. Like, yeah. UFC fighters won't be able to fight in other promotions or do any other yeah. fights. Like, if Jake Paul wanted to fight a, a UFC fighter that's currently signed... He wouldn't be sorry for bringing him up, but I'm just using him as <laughs> no, an example. No, 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 They wouldn't be able to fight him for no matter how much money it is. Otherwise, the UFC will sue them. So I can understand if they like own that person by signing them. They're going to put a bunch of promotion and shit into yeah. that person. And if it's discriminatory based, that sucks. If it's like contractual obligation based, then that's understandable yeah. for sure. I love that you it's like look at his name as like a swear word. You can't say around like, sorry, sorry. There's, there are certain people's names that. You know, we just don't want to bring up around each other trigger I guess, words. I guess that's maybe trigger true. names. Yeah, no, that's I'm fine. not. I'm honestly, I'm not triggered by his name. I'm triggered okay. by a lot of names. Cool. But. You, well, we're talking about it still. Uh, I just mentioned it briefly in that. You know, mm. it's fine. Whatever. We can, we can move past it. So yeah, uh, uh, if they are investing <laughs> into building up that person, it's basically a promotion. You know, then you're promoting this person, and they're yeah. doing something else and keeping all the dough. That makes sense. This is nice. We have a caller. Uh, is this a confessional or is this just a random caller? Uh, one sec. Okay, you guys aren't telling me anything anymore? Nobody's speaking to me. Yo, what's going on, man? Hi. How you doing? Hello? <laughs> Wait, Tana? Hi. That's for real, Tana? Wait. That's for real, Tana? Tana. We were on yeah. what, are four what are four fingers is that, if that's actually you? Oh, shit, it's actually you. Damn. Hey, Welcome Slayer. <laughs> That's so. What's that's up, awesome. Jeff? How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Good, man. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, I Sorry. needed yeah, you. Of course, of course. I, I needed uh, you here. You want to talk religion? Religion? I'm just, I'm just yeah. Kidding. What's uh, your beliefs? Uh, I'm just uh, messing around. <laughs> uh, the guys didn't tell me anything about you. They're just surprising me with you. You're a familiar face. Are you? Are you so an actor? familiar. You're an actor. Oh yeah, I do be on that little TikTok shit. You know, I be doing dances and all that shit. So. Okay. Okay. All right. Is <laughs> yeah. that, that? Is that actually what you do, or is it you being sarcastic? Nah, nah, nah. I just do. I mean. I, you kind of have to watch it for yourself to understand it. Because, because Kyle wouldn't call in no dancer. You got something huh? up your sleeve. I know you got something up your sleeve. Yeah, you got to check it out for yourself, man. But I really fuck with y'all. I've been watching y'all for so long. Like, Jeff, I really like. I really do like you, bro. And I'm not trying to, like... Look, I'm not trying to, like, trauma dump on you or anything. But, like, just, like, my <laughs> whole life or majority of my life has, like, not been that great. And, like, my family has been shit. And, like, just last year, like, I just want to say that you... And like your like your products, your barber like products like really fucking save my life, bro. Are you reading off a script Aww. right now? Are you reading? No, a I'm not reading off a script, bro. Like I'm. I <laughs> no, think I am saying Pomade. the nicest thing ever, and you saying, "Are you you're reading off a script?" He's, he's, he's trolling. He's trolling because he said no, that not, he has bro. family problems, and my pomade fixed it. Did you listen to what he said? Yeah. He yeah. draw crew Dahmer. Yeah, he's, you're a murderer. I am. He's trolling me. He's not no, trolling you. No, he's keeping it real. How did my? How did I just tell you? Look, your clay pomade, bro. That shit is my favorite fucking flavor, bro. I be, 
What? I'll be eating that shit, bro. Like bro, that. that shit is way too. Uh, the texture is no, not it's right. Not. No, it's it's I way I got my thinner. friend on it too. Aiden, come here. That's like Look, some lotion not. or something. Yeah. The clay pot is dead. Yeah. Yes, we be on this shit, bro. I'm telling you. Bro, you gotta get the recipe out, bro. Let me know the recipe for real. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucking so, Jeff the Chef, bro. This is actually Jeff the with Chef. Tanny, you need to get so on you, this for real. Tanny, you need to get on this show, for real. Show us the bottle. Yeah. I Our put way worse here, things right? in my body. I honestly maybe so should eat got, some pomade. Okay. You know. Yeah, so you guys have been ingesting the <laughs> hair products and it saved your relationship with your family. Well, I mean... Yeah. Well, when I got my family on them, that we kind of just like we kind of had something to bond yeah. over. So. And you can eat the deodorant too. It's like <laughs> oh yeah, trust me, I know, I know. <laughs> the deodorant but technically Tana, I got is a question for you the because are so good, but I can't legally say it. Don't it? eat it. Don't eat it. But you won't die, probably. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I could say stuff like that with the whole Tide Pod situation back in 2017. Do you know I ate a Tide Pod once? <laughs> <laughs> Like, I really did that. I really, like, I I had to see what the hype was about. And I'm starting a business with you. <laughs> yeah, that's really, that's really pathetic. Like, you're starting a business with a girl who actually ate a Tide Pod once. I threw up for hours, though. Don't do it. <laughs> hey, Tana. Hi. Uh, Are you about to tell me that this? my <laughs> saved your uh, relationship? No, 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 no. But I was talking to producers of the show because I really want to ask you a question. And they were telling me that... Like I need to be on like tier eight to talk to you and ask questions. So, what? Like, huh? Like tier eight of like your oh. and shit. I was just wondering. Oh no! You'd come talk to me right now, seriously. Oh, so I can just ask you anything? Yeah, I'm messaging back right now. All right, so I gotta know. In this moment, has Steven hit, bruh? Has Steven hit? Has Steven hit? <laughs> is this I a rumor? I know he has, bro. Don't is, lie to me. Don't lie to is me. Is this a rumor that has Steven ever once said that he hit? Have yeah. you not been reading the comments? We all know. He told me he got with you. I mean, you have an answer to answer the answer the question. <laughs> Steven has not hit, but I should have gone along with the bit, honestly. Yeah, mad, crazy pipe game. Horse cock. <laughs> Horse cock. Hey, no. Fuck wouldn't it. it be so funny? Wouldn't it be so funny if you just went like this in the camera or some shit like that? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, is, there like, is there a camera angle and on the like, table? Is we there should camera? have a foot cam. Honestly, no, no, no. Uh, you you got to punch in on them. You got to purchase that. But the dogs are out and barking right now. I am barefoot on oh, the Jeff FM well, set. I can't really see him. I can't really see him. And if you get a micro SD card, you can come suck my toes. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, she's really the bro. Yeah, she's great. <laughs> she's one of the guys. She's one of the guys. Oh, I'm down, I'm down. Yeah, no, actually, but, I have a cock. You have a cock? What? Yeah, you didn't know and that. What? What'd you say? Enter the giveaway! Next go! Okay, uh, alright, alright. Fuck! Moving on, moving on. I love you Wait, so Jeff. much. Yeah. Have you guys been doing Christmas shopping? Uh, no, I'll probably just show up with a bag of cash. Just throw it around. <laughs> Do you want to see what I got my friend today? Yeah, yeah. That'd be great. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have, like, been to Walmart recently. You probably haven't, because y'all motherfuckers are rich and Hollywood shit and all that. But, Walmart, look, they have I... these things, and it's hella fun, because, like, it, like, slides through your hand and shit. And it's really like satisfying, and it makes these cool ass noises. I don't know if you can hear this, but look. Oh shit! Hold up. Have you yeah. put your dick in it? <laughs> have any of and you look, put your dick in it's that? It's like cool because you can if sort it, and it goes around like anything, like water balls and shit. Like no matter what girth, it's just fucking like there. <laughs> have it's has like anyone in this holder. room put their dick in one of those or no? Jeff used if to I had have a dick, that's course. the first thing I would do. Jeff used to have a couple of those. Sure everyone here has. And I also yeah. got my friend a strapped up AK forty seven G six. That's <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Now we're talking. Yeah. Suddenly. Oh, look who's calling me! Wait, this is perfect. Look who's calling me, bro. Yo. Hey, Aldo. Oh, I thought shit. it was Steven. <laughs> there he is, Aldo. The new and improved Damn. Steven. <laughs> we can't Taking hear the world by storm. Aldo. They were saying they were saying Steven can go blow bigger O's than you. Aldo, how's your mental health? <laughs> <laughs> scary. He hung up on uh, us. I guess he didn't want to flash my toe. Yeah, well, Keep up with them fucking them snacks and shit, bro, but that's all my dialogue for now. <laughs> <laughs> Calling your product snacks is a goaded joke. That's incredible. All right, guys. All right really man. Well, thank you. It was great having you on the show. Come back again, please. All right. Love you. I think it was my favorite uh, one of the guys that you pulled into the show so far. Good job. Yeah, I like I like that guy. He's out I of like his fucking mind. I got to look up his TikToks. Yeah. <laughs> Will you eat your deodorant for me right now? If, you, if you're really like, if you are... Here, here's yeah. 
If you are about what you say you're about, can you the fucking? Can you I, I mean, good thing this isn't live because I feel like Nev's gonna call me and be like, "What the hell are you doing?" Like a bite, like a, no, no, no. I want you to take you a little bite. bite. It. Show everybody how good your That's, product is. That tastes good. The tongue thing was a little sus. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo! <laughs> That's a, show everybody how good your product is. <laughs> he just throats it. <laughs> bite it. Come on, throat go. <laughs> Chew it, chew it, swallow it, chew it, swallow it, please. I'm gonna get kicked off <laughs> of the internet for this. I mean, you said it. Let everyone know how, you know, clean and amazing the ingredients are. Oh, yeah, we need reaction shots. So, one of the products in here is uh, basically tapioca starch. It's what boba is made out of. Mm. So, I'm not saying that it's edible, but <laughs> it's a lot less harmful than if you were to ingest why'd you spit it out deodorant over other yeah. deodorants because why do you... spitters are quitters oh i don't like this let's move on <laughs> the deodorant's out it tastes I just... great i mean the smells it smells <laughs> great and That's from okay. now until january if you pick one up you'll be entered to win that sd card with a secret video on it oh my god should i should we and they get i'm gonna make a video for it i'm gonna make a video for the giveaway winner well, we already put the SD card in. Yeah, but once they win and they reach out, you know, like we'll send them my customized video. Okay. <laughs> That's dope. That's nice that you're going to put some exclusive content on there. <laughs> All right. I think we're good. I think we can wrap it up. That was a great Have show. Have you ever seen that porn where people fart onto cakes? <laughs> no. No, I don't know yeah, how I've ever seen that. It's just crazy. Is that what you want to end on? Last podcast of the year? That's... that's <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> this is it. We're done for Damn. the year. Damn, it's been a really, really great end of the year of podcasting, and I'm excited for what's to come. Do they know about our our set yet and stuff? It's gonna it's gonna be great. We're working on it, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, use all the money that we were putting towards you on the AdSense that most of it got taken away. <laughs> Four dollars and three yeah. cents. I'm gonna put that towards a set, so it's taken care of. That's beautiful. All green screen, so it's um, cheap as fuck to make. Yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> very. I'm very happy that I found. I found friendship in all of you this year, and I am very happy I found the Jeff FM audience and they're amazing people, and it's been great. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy you joined us. And see, that's why I was talking about cake farting. You know, like it just like you know. Yeah, it's a good ending. Yeah. Uh, that's Look it, it up. Now, from now to the end of the year, there's going to be a shorter drunk content. So if you want to suggest some videos to watch, you know, besides ours, you go back in time, watch all my other YouTube videos, leave yeah. likes on them. So, you know. The latest right. impulsive episodes, you know. Okay. Yeah. Check those out. And the farting on cakes. Yeah. <laughs> Keep you busy for the rest of the year. All right. Happy holidays. <laughs> and actually, we might do one more episode just with us and we'll go over the people that were canceled this year. That's our tradition for Ooh. New Year's. You want to be a part of that, huh? Ooh, so badly. That sounds so fun. So I guess we got to do one more. I think we should absolutely talk about everyone who's been canceled this year. Yeah, that that'd be sounds, fun. Yeah, the ghost of canceled spots. Who's some big ones? Just so give them a little taste of what the we're The only thing that comes to my mind for some reason is Monty Lopez. I think I'm forever stuck Ooh, on it. Oh, that's a big one. Big one. But what's nice. another big one? Monty, H3, Logan. Will Smith, was Will. that this year? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a big one. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, save it for next episode, guys. Um, there's a lot yeah, more. Okay, there's Dad. Just beep there's it out. And leave some comments, too, if you're listening. Of yeah, let us know. Us to address. Get Ooh. into. Nice. All right. All right. Stay so cute and gorgeous. That's it. <laughs> Himself a barber's well, chair and gave us some cuts. <laughs> now he's a podcaster. His life he'll talk about <laughs> it with us. And now it's Jeff Evans.